Let's start with a brief overview of Section 501 of the Colmary Act. Section 501 directly aligns monthly housing allowance rates to the Department of Defense's E-5 with dependents' basic allowance housing rate for those who started using the post-9-11 GI Bill after January 1, 2018. The Department of Veteran Affairs delayed implementation of this provision until December 1, 2019, though the requirements were set to take place on August 1, 2018. Beginning December 1, 2019, VA systems will be updated to accurately calculate a student's monthly housing allowance according to Section 501. To determine impact, we must first identify the date the claimant first used entitlement for the post-9-11 GI Bill. If they used entitlement before January 1, 2018, they are not impacted. If they used entitlement on or after January 1, 2018, but before August 1, 2018, they are impacted. And finally, if they used entitlement on or after August 1, 2018, they are also impacted. MHA rates will now be determined using two rate tables, VA and DOD rate tables. The date a claimant first used entitlement determines which rate might be applicable. If a claimant first used entitlement before January 1, 2018, they are not impacted and will continue to receive VA MHA rates. If a claimant used entitlement on or after January 1, 2018, but before August 1, 2018, they are impacted and will receive either the VA rate or DOD rate. If they used entitlement on or after August 1, 2018, they are also impacted and will receive the DOD rate. Before we go through some scenarios, let's take a moment to review rate protection. Rate protection protects rates for individuals who are continuously enrolled at the same campus. This means that if the rate associated with a particular campus changes to a lower rate, the individual will continue to receive the higher rate. A claimant's rate is not protected in the following scenarios change in facility code for location of the majority of classes, a gap in housing payments that is greater than six months, when there is a drop in rate of pursuit to less than 50%, when the student has not previously received a housing award. Let's go through some scenarios. And the following scenarios determine the correct MHA rates beginning December 1, 2019. Please assume that the student has continuously attended the majority of their classes full-time at Louisiana Lafayette. Let's meet the students, Victor, Sarah, and David. Victor first used post-9-11 GI Bill entitlement on August 15, 2017. Sarah first used post-9-11 GI Bill entitlement on February 1, 2018. David first used post-9-11 GI Bill entitlement on August 20, 2019. Victor's fall term is from August 7 to December 16, 2019. He has been receiving $1,457. On December 1, 2019, what rate will he be paid? First, determine what category Victor falls under. To do this, we must look at the date he first began using the post-9-11 GI Bill, August 15, 2017. This tells us that Victor is not impacted and that his rate will come from the VA rate table. The DOD rate will never be applicable to Victor. Victor will continue to receive the VA Academic Year 19 rate 
of $1,457 because he's not impacted by Section 501 rules. Sarah's fall term is also from August 7, 2019 to December 16, 2019. She is currently receiving $1,457. On December 1, 2019, what rate will she be paid? First, determine which category Sarah falls under. To do this, we must look at the date she first began using the post-9-11 GI Bill, February 1, 2018. This tells us that Sarah falls into the second category and will either use the VA rate or DOD rate table. She will receive the VA academic year 2017 rate until the DOD rate is higher or she breaks rate protection rules. On December 1, 2019, Sarah will receive $1,368. She receives the VA 2017 academic year rate until any DOD rate exceeds, or she breaks rate protection. Once the DOD rate exceeds the VA rate, which occurred in 2019, she will receive the DOD rate going forward, not the VA rate. David's fall term is from August 7, 2019 to December 16, 2019. He is currently receiving $1,457. On December 1, 2019, what rate will he be paid? First, determine which category David falls under. To do this, we must look at the date he first began using the post-9-11 GI Bill, August 20, 2019. This tells us that David is impacted and that his rate will come from the DOD rate table. The VA rate table will never be applicable to David. David will receive rates from the DOD rate table. On December 1, 2019, he will receive $1,368. Remember, if a claimant uses their entitlement before January 1, 2018, they are not impacted. If they use it on or after January 1, 2018, but before August 1, 2018, they are impacted. If they use it on or after August 1, 2018, they are also impacted. Great job with those scenarios. Now, let's try two more advanced scenarios. In the following scenarios, determine the correct MHA rates beginning December 1, 2019. Please assume that the student has continuously attended the majority of their classes full-time at New York Institute of Technology. Sam's fall term is from August 7, 2019 to December 16, 2019. She is currently receiving $4,148. On December 1, 2019, what rate will she be paid? First, determine which category Sam falls under. To do this, we must look at the date she first began using the post-9-11 GI Bill, February 1, 2018. This tells us that Sam falls into the second category and will either use the VA rate table or DOD rate table. She will receive the VA academic year 2017 rate until the DOD rate is higher or she breaks rate protection rules. In this scenario, on December 1, 2019, Sam will receive $4,148. Sam will continue to receive $4,148 until she breaks rate protection or until the DOD rate exceeds this value.
Drew's fall term is from August 7, 2019 to December 16, 2019. He is currently receiving $3,738. On December 1, 2019, what rate will he be paid? First, determine which category Drew falls under. To do this, we must look at the date he first began using the post-9-11 GI Bill on September 9, 2018. This tells us that Drew falls into the third category and will use the DOD rate table since he first used entitlement on or after August 1, 2018. On December 1, 2019, Drew will receive $3,669 due to rate protection rules. For additional information and resources, please visit the Department of Veteran Affairs Forever GI Bill website. For specific questions, please reach out to the Forever GI Bill mailbox.